From an urban all-electric mini car to the most iconic American performance car in history, it's time to introduce the sixth generation Corvette right here, our Corvette convertible at the Geneva Auto Show. Now, some of you may have seen the global debut of the new Corvette Stingray in Detroit back in January, and I can tell you it was an emotional event for all of us. And as Ed Welburn so eloquently put it uh, that evening, Chevrolet Corvette Stingray represents the very soul of our company. And today, that thrill continues. And now it's time for you to meet the seventh generation. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the all new Corvette Stingray Convertible. Stingray is certainly one of the hollowed names in automotive history, and we knew that we couldn't use the Stingray name unless the new car truly lived up to the legacy. This is a true dream car. While the name is synonymous with Americana, the new Corvette is distinctively international in its design, technology, and driving experience. That's why it's fitting that we introduce the new convertible right here on this stage. Corvette has more than one million Facebook fans from around the world, and in fact, as a thank you for their loyalty, we showed the coupe to almost 900 fans in Germany and Switzerland this past weekend. And to tell you more about the Corvette Stingray, I'm pleased to welcome Corvette Chief Engineer, my dear colleague, Taj Jechter. Taj, come on up and tell us about this car. Welcome. Thank you, Susan. And good morning, everybody. It's great to be here. This seventh generation Corvette Stingray is truly an all new vehicle. We only carried over two parts from the previous generation car. And we intended to redesign it to deliver truly world class levels of performance, technology, and fuel economy. From the very beginning, the car was designed as an open top vehicle. The coupe roof is removable as well. So we optimize everything about the vehicle for open air driving. The only differences structurally between the coupe and this convertible are the provisions for the folding top and the resulting uh, change in location for the seat belts. Otherwise, everything underneath is identical. No structural reinforcements required. The new top we have on this convertible is the first time we've had a fully electronic uh, push button top. It can be raised and lowered either with a single push of a button or remotely with the key fob and can be operated at speeds up to 50 kilometers an hour. Other than that, the coupe and convertible are identical, as they should be. So they share identical power to weight ratios. The uh, convertible top is extremely well sealed and quiet, so the driving experience, including the chassis tuning and everything else associated with that driving experience, is the same whether you're driving a coupe and the convertible. We leveraged a lot of the two technologies developed by the Corvette racing team, really focused a lot on mass reduction, wanted to make the vehicle as lightweight as possible. 
Uh, you see the uh, functional hood vent like we have on the coupe. That helps with downforce, helps with stability at speed. And then we uh, also use premium lightweight materials throughout. The Michelin tires are custom engineered for this Corvette Stingray, and they were developed by the same team that does the race car tires for our race program. I mentioned the body structure. It's all light alloy, all light, lightweight aluminum construction. It's uh, 45 kilograms lighter than the previous generation body structure and 57% stiffer, which changes dramatically the driving experience. Based on last year's sales volume, we expect the new Corvette will be the highest volume car in the industry with standard carbon fiber exterior panels. In fact, we'll probably be the highest by a very large margin. The coupe and convertible have a standard carbon fiber hood, class A panel, and the coupe uh, removable roof panel is also carbon fiber. We also use other driver focused technologies in this car, including a seven speed manual transmission with active rev matching on both upshifts and downshifts. And there's a five mode driver select switch that controls up to 12 vehicle attributes depending on the driver's preference and the environment. Everything from an economy mode for daily driving commuting to a touring mode for Autobahn use or track mode uh, for track work and sporty driving. Both the coupe and the convertible are powered by our all new 6.2 liter Chevrolet V8 engine. It's a very compact, very lightweight engine, all the latest technologies. Uh, it makes a perfect engine for uh, either a sports car or in fact a race program. Uh, we haven't finished our uh, engine uh, development yet, but we expect we'll make at least 450 horsepower and 610 newton meters of torque. That makes the 2014 Corvette Stingray the most powerful standard Corvette in history. It's also the most capable and the most fuel efficient. We expect zero to 100 kilometers an hour in four seconds flat and better fuel economy than we've ever had in a standard Corvette. It'll be a while before many of you get a chance to drive the car, but I can tell you today that the driving experience lives up to the promise of this design and one time behind the wheel will change your view of Corvettes forever. We expect this Corvette Stingray will go on sale here in Europe towards the end of this year. And now I'd like to share another premiere with you. For the first time together, I'm proud to show you both the convertible and the Corvette Coupe. I want to thank you for sharing some incredible news about these two fantastic cars. Thank you um, very much. And also uh, to say thanks to all the men and women who have worked on this car for many years. They've done an outstanding job. Thanks it's for being pleasure. with us today. Thank you, Susan. Thanks. Okay, and now I'd like to welcome two special guests, Corvette racing driver, Le Mans 24-hour winner, Oliver Gavin, and Manchester United legend, Dwight York. Welcome, guys. Good to see you. Really happy that you're here. Thank you very much. Okay, first of all, Ollie, what do you think of our cars? Well, I think it's fantastic. It's, it's more capable, it's more powerful, and most of all, it's going to let me win more races. Okay, did you hear that, Taj? We're going to win more races with what's up on stage, so thank you. Dwight, what do you think? I think it's a fantastic car, really excited by it, and I'm sure the lads of Manchester United are excited at driving them as well. Oh, terrific. Ollie, um, I hear that you had an opportunity to drive these cars already at the 24 hour at Le Mans? Well, yes, we did. Actually, we might have a small video here that I did with some friends from United. Ah, okay. Now, now I understand. Taj, we don't need to worry. The cars have not been out at Le Mans. 
Yeah, I, I have to confess, it was uh, with the PlayStation, the Gran Turismo 5 game. It was great practice, and it was pretty stiff competition from the United players. They were very good. Uh -huh. Terrific, Dwight. I understand the uh, Manchester United uh, players have recently received uh, their Chevrolets, um, and, he, and, and obviously training from Ollie out at Old Trafford. Some comments on that? Well, it's really exciting time at Manchester United, and the players are really excited by receiving their cars. I can assure you they look forward to driving it in Manchester and throughout England as well. Oh, fantastic. Um, I was reading in the media that a number of the players all wanted to be in Corvettes, uh, and I can see why. Um, I hear you've got a very exciting uh, game on this evening with Real Madrid, is that correct? Yeah, we just have this small matter overcoming <laughs> Real Madrid this afternoon. Of, of course, it's a huge game for us, it's a, a, ver a very important game, and I'm sure that we will get the right result at the end of it. Okay, well, when I was watching CNN this morning, I heard Sir Alex Ferguson say that uh, he thought that beating Real Madrid tonight was no problem. <laughs> is that true? Well, the, the, the gaffer said so Alex, he's, he normally gets it right, and I'm sure the boys will get it right tonight as well oh, with a great. positive result. Well, we wish you the very best. Well, before we go, Ali, um, I think you've got something you want to announce to the journalists here. Well, yes, indeed. There's, uh, Dwight and I have had a chance to be on the Gran Turismo game here behind us in the uh, Gran Turismo Salon, and I challenge every part of the media here to get in there over the next two days and take us on, try and beat our times, and if the winner, the person who gets closest to the time, We'll get an opportunity to come to the Le Mans 24 hours and be part of the Corvette, Chevrolet Corvette racing team. All right. Well, I guess the race is on, and I'm sure we've got lots of journalists here uh, who would like to either meet or beat your score. <laughs> get in uh, Oliver Dwight, thank you very much for thank being you. a part of our celebration today. Thank it's you great very to much. have both of you here. Now I'd like to ask uh, Taj Jector and Ed Welburn, our Global Vice President of Design, to join me on stage so that they can share with you more about these two incredible vehicles and you'll have an opportunity to spend time with the Corvettes. But on behalf of uh, the Corvette team and all of the men at Women in Chevrolet, I want to thank all of you for joining us today. Thanks, everybody, and come on up and take a look. Thank you for watching the Corvette channel. If you like what you saw today, please hit subscribe and the like button. Also, be sure to hit that bell so you will be alerted to our next uploads.